Yeah, have a good one. You too. Joe, having experienced the transfer portal, what advice would you give to student athletes that consider it? Um, I, I honestly, uh, the transfer portal is tough. You know, I think it's, uh, it's good because it allows kids a second chance. It allows people another chance at, you know, getting it right who, you know, may have gotten it wrong in the first opportunity. Um, but, you know, there is also those cases where people don't want to compete anymore and you know they just kind of jump into it because they might have failed their first year so i see both sides i think uh for me I, the, th the main thing i would say is just you know work your butt off um because you know the transfer portal you know kind of reward you in the end let's say you know you're a great player for four years at a mid-major that uh well you know you're not gonna get fit five years of COVID anymore but you know you, you uh if you're a proven player, you know, it's going to help you out in the long run. So I think it just goes back to working your butt off and making sure that you're putting in the time and effort and not rushing the process at all. You're so much more than a three-point shooter. Yes, sir. What are you looking forward to showing at Clemson about your all-around game? Just being a competitor. Uh, I think that's what I've, you know, tried to live my hard hat on, you know, my whole my whole career, my whole life, um, is being that competitor, being that guy who is going to go out there and make winning plays, um, whether it's making a play for somebody else or whether it's making a big shot. I just want to be the guy who's making winning plays for the team and helping the team win. And, uh, you know, whether that be diving on a loose ball, taking a charge on defense, um, doing all the little things to just help Clemson win as many games as they can and get to the tournament and make a run. You came from upstate New York. You played in upstate yes, New York. You went to college in upstate New York. <laughs> so to be away from home for the first time, what's it been like? It's been great, honestly. Um, I think a big credit, you know, my girlfriend moved in with me. Um, she's still getting her master's through Newhouse, actually, through Syracuse. So it's all online, though. Um, and, you know, it gave me an opportunity to have someone, you know, move move with me um, and that I was familiar with in, in case um, something was going well. But I can honestly say this is one of the closest teams I've ever been around, probably the closest team I've ever been around besides being in high school, you know, with kids you grew up with your whole life. But these guys are awesome. I mean, I, we hang out with each other every day, goof around with each other every day. And uh, when we're on the court, we're just competitive and so close. But um, it's been great. And, uh, you know, this moving out of New York I've kind of – I never really went home on the weekends, but I always knew in the back of my head if I needed to drive two hours to go home, I could. And, you know, I don't have that anymore. And it kind of allowed me to grow up as a person um, for whenever that ball may stop bouncing. And, uh, you know, you kind of got to grow up and be on your own. I think uh, this is going to prepare me for that um, in the future. We know that you're coming back to the Dome. Yes, sir. Wearing, a, <laughs> wearing orange that looks yeah, obviously right. <laughs> uh, the same. But just what you can say about knowing that there will be a trip back home mm -hmm. and back to the Dome. Yeah, I've said it. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of black out whenever I'm on the court. Just as a competitor, you know, the adrenaline gets going, you black out. Um, I think the only weird thing for me being back there will be seeing my parents sitting in the away, in the away section. Um, you know, after seeing them for four years, I knew where their seats were. I could look over there and wave to them before every game, after every game. Uh, but now having to see them in the other side will be weird. But other than that... I'm a competitor. Um, I know the Syracuse guys are a competitor, but um, it's going to be great to be back there. No hard feelings at all, obviously, and uh, I don't see any negative about it. When you look at Brad Brownell, after all your time you spent with Jim Beheim, mm -hmm. what you can say about Coach Brownell, and he's one of the longest tenured coaches yep. in the ACC now as well, so just what his message was to you and why you thought it was the right one. Yeah, I mean, he's been so successful. Again, that was another another positive coming here. He's, the guy's been around for 12 or 13 years in the ACC at the same school. It's proven that he's, you know, one of the best in the league. And uh, you know, want to you want to learn from guys like that. Um, Coach Bam, I think obviously everybody knows, was one of the biggest competitors out there, and that's why he was so successful. That's why I wanted to learn from him. One of the things with Coach Rinell is he's the same way. Um, you know, we do this personality test at Clemson, and they did it with me in the transfer portal. And my biggest personality trait was competitiveness. Coach Brownell's was pretty; his his top five were pretty much my same top five as well. And just being so similar to him in that sense um, just drew me even closer to building a relationship with him. And uh, the way he just went about the whole thing was was amazing. And I would kind of seen it just playing against him for four years, but once you really get up close and tight and, and learn from him the most, um, is when you see it the most.